Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to comment a little bit on the FDA immunity issue um, that has been before us and that we've debated from time to time. And I just want to um, make a couple of observations. And, you know, one of the questions that's come before us is, is the FDA approval process somehow flawed? And if it is, should patients have a right to pursue a claim in court? So that's, that's one question. But if you think about that, if the process is flawed, if the approval process is somehow an error, if drugs are being approved that shouldn't be, wouldn't it be better to prevent future patients from being harmed? And to do that, if the process is truly flawed, would require strengthening or reviewing the way the FDA is currently operating. So if we want to prevent harm to patients in the future, if we want to make sure that medications and treatments are as safe as possible, shouldn't we be calling on the current administration in Washington to strengthen and review this process? Shouldn't we be asking our U.S. Senators Senator Levin and Stabenow to review the FDA process to make sure it is as safe and reliable as, as possible. Now I understand by reviewing the, the federal stimulus proposal that $1.5 billion is being set aside to compare medical treatments. There, there are great questions out there in science that are unanswered in medicine. Is this treatment or that treatment better? Why do we always practice things this way? And so, rightly so, there's a keen interest in comparing treatments to look for the safest and best course. Shouldn't then federal law be modified so that what is learned in these post-approval trials be somehow incorporated or reviewed by the FDA? So, Colleagues, it would seem to me if we really have the interest of the public's health at heart, which is given to us in the state constitution, we should be calling on the federal government to do its job to make sure that the process is working. Moreover, keep in mind that the process can be intimidating to pharmaceutical research, Pfizer just announced that they're no longer pursuing cardiovascular medications in part because of the difficulties in getting FDA approval. And I would remind you that that is the single leading cause of death in Michigan, cardiovascular disease. So we have to balance our interest in finding treatments for people who suffer from cardiovascular disease, many of our constituents, we have to balance an interest in finding treatments for that with a safe and fair FDA review process. And if it is flawed, then we ought to be calling on our U.S. Senators and the current federal administration to review that. That is the proper place for this debate if we're trying to help prevent injury in the future, and to make our citizens as healthy as possible.